much like for the CDH cases, we put a scope in, three millimeter scope, completely percutaneously, uh, and then we identify only the vessels that cross the equator of the placenta. We leave the normal vessels alone. Uh, you see this, I think uh, this is my uh, partner, uh, Shin Hiroshi, um, firing the laser at these communicating vessels. One thing is it's, it's not trivial to see what the normal vessels are and what crosses over. It takes a little bit of, of time, um, but uh, um, it's actually quite an effective therapy. And now that we can do it completely percutaneously, uh, the risks and the complications are minimal. Uh, won't belabor the results. We haven't cured this disease, but we've taken a disease where there's 90% mortality and in recent series, probably 80% overall survival. And then the other thing I just want to talk about briefly and just end here is twin reverse arterial perfusion sequence or TRAP. We invented the, the procedure where we use, again, we learned from our neurointerventional colleagues, other um, uh, IR colleagues, Bob Curlin and uh, our adult uh, surgical oncologic surgeons, the use of radiofrequency ablation uh, to ablate the blood flow into the um, uh, abnormal twin uh, mass of tissue that's causing this uh, um, high output shunt. Uh, and it has become uh, the uh, standard of care. Uh, I recently got to lead the um, National Registry on that. UCSF contributed almost 50% of the cases, and we took a disease that had 50% mortality and we we're able to have 93% survival. And all done uh, by a percutaneous approach. Again, another thing where we work really closely with our ultrasound colleagues. You can see in the picture up there uh, what the abnormal black blob of tissue, the acardiac fetus, uh, looks like. It's a big uh, body. And again, um, you can have 50% uh, mortality. Uh, it won't go into the pathophysiology too much, pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, do you want to just end there, uh, Ruth? This is just another example. It's not critical that uh, everybody understands about TRAP, but TRAP is a parasite, and the pump twin is threatened by it. And to the extent that we've used all of our experience in percutaneous and invasive therapy to treat this parasitic twin, to save the pump co-twin, co it's been extremely successful. And I think ultrasound has really had a, a major role in guiding these things. And we do it all under ultrasound guidance, and uh, yeah. we have very good results. And, and I think, you know, when you look at the history of fetal intervention, invasive therapy, really the history has been written mostly at UCSF, and really I think is, is really the highlight uh, of, of what we do. Uh, and, and really addresses all the things that UCSF, UC should do, uh, um, service, patient care, uh, the educational component. We've basically trained all the people everywhere in the country who do these things. Um, and then finally, the research part of it. Uh, it's important that we've been transparent about everything. We have a specific oversight committee uh, to make sure that we're not veering off course, the ethical components of it. and we. Uh, at every uh, opportunity, try to validate it with prospective randomized control trials. So anyway, thank you very much.